I'm going to show you how to do the positive, negative, and mirror image of your photogram. First, what I'm going to do is I open this image, and as you can tell, I didn't do a very good job of taking the image with my cell phone. So what I need to do is straighten it out and crop out the background. So I'm going to get the, I'm going to go up to image, I'm sorry, edit, transform, and rotate. This is gonna give you a free rotation, which will allow you to manipulate it by moving it back and forth. That looks pretty good. So I hit enter, and now that is set. I'm now going to crop out the background. And when I crop it out, I'm going to click and drag over the image. And it's okay if you crop out just a little bit of your image, just to make sure that you don't get any of the background in. Make sure delete cropped pixels right up here is clicked. And once I have the area selected that I want to do, I hit enter and there I have it. Now, you'll notice I did not check the size when I opened up the image. And since it's from my cell phone, I can be pretty confident that it's a pretty large image. So I'm going to go to image, image size, and sure enough, it is 32, over 32 by over 46 inches. That's very large. So I'm going to change this. I want the width to be a nice even number. So I'm gonna change it to five. I'm gonna click here and then that's gonna keep the proportions going. 7.04 is fine. I'm gonna change the DPI to 300 and I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna just zoom in just a little bit on my navigation bar. Now what I need is I need another copy of the background. So I'm going to right click on the background layer. I'm going to go to duplicate layer, click it. And now you notice it made a background copy. Great. But now I want to put them next to each other. I want them side by side and I don't want to crop them out. So we know the image is just about five by seven. So in order to put them next to each other, I need to make the canvas size, which is what these lay on, larger. So I'm going to double that size. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, and now I have it five by seven. I want to do it 10 by seven. That's why I said you need a nice even number so you can just double it easily. I'm going to put the anchor point over here on the left hand side. and I'm going to click OK. So now I have it. I've got the nice big canvas. I've got my two images are still there stacked on one another, but I need to move the top one. So I'm going to grab my move tool here, click it, scoot it on over. Boom, there it is. All right, but that's not mirrored, nor is it a negative. So the next step is let's, let's mirror this. So I'm going to take edit, transform, flip horizontally. Boom. Now it flipped and now it starts to create, like I said in class, kind of like that Rorschach ink block test of what does it look like? It starts to look much more abstract. But the next step we wanted to try to do is turn this into a negative, like we would do in the darkroom with our photograms in the darkroom. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to image adjustments. First, I'm going to go to invert. So now what that is gonna do is change it to the opposite. So if it was grayscale, blacks would turn white and whites would turn black. So, but because this has a blue hue, you're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna invert the colors. And there you have it, positive, negative. You end up with this sort of play on the, uh, the vibration of the different complementary colors going against each other, which is kind of interesting. During class, some of you said you wanted to try grayscale, which is easy enough. So what you're gonna do is go to image adjustments and go to desaturate. You can also mess with, uh, experiment around with levels. Um, I wanna make that a little wider. Or I'm like, you know what? I kind of like the first invert that I did. So I'm going to go back to, I'm gonna look at my history here, click up here, and that's how I wanna keep 